Dear Mum and Dad, sorry for not writing sooner. I finally made it. You should just see this place. All the stars that must have walked down these footpaths and waited at these bus stops when they were just nobodies. Every time I sit in an audition stool, I can feel the imprint of Johnny Cash's backside still on it. <coughs> Could I uh, play one of my songs? No, boy. Give yourself half a chance and sing something we all know. When you wake up in the morning, hear the ding dong ring. You go marching to the table. It's the same darn thing. Spoon and fork up on the table. Not a thing in my pan. If you make a crack about it, you're in trouble with the man. Let the midnight special shine a light on. The midnight special Shine a light on me Let that midnight special Shine its ever-loving light on me Thank you, Ralph. We have all your particulars. Probably best if you don't call us. That last gal better hurry up. It's getting late. You decent? Yep. Here's the plane ticket. No need to tell your mother how much it costs. Dad, I've been thinking, uh, maybe I should stay here. You know, we could spend the money on the truck or something. Fine time to be thinking about the truck. You've never touched the truck. You never touch the tractor, you never feed the stock. Kind of my hotel looking for a guitarist. What's up with you all of a sudden? I don't know, I'm just a bit nervous, I guess. What about? You know, the plane and stuff. When I was your age, half my mates had trod on landmines at Nui Dat. Never gave it a second thought. Never had a shag or even a shave, half of them. God almighty. Yeah, all right, all right, I'm going. Here we go, then. I will, you watch me. Yeah, I'm watching. I'm watching. Life is life. A mountain railroad choo -choo. Oh, oh. with an end journey that's brave. We must make the run successful from the crate. Your, your mother wanted me to have a word with you before you leave, man to man. Oh, yeah? What about? About women. And don't bring back any woman with thin hips to this part of the country, boy. You're joking, huh? No, I'm dead serious. City women like their thin hips, I know that. But then they've got their big city hospitals. We're too far away from a good doctor for that kind of luxury. But, Dad, if, if you like a girl... Now, don't get too choosy. They're all the same when the lights are off. Any other questions? No. That's that then. You make us proud of you, boy. When you were four years old, you could recite all the basic strains of merino shape. All the crossbreeds, everything. It was amazing. I don't know what's wrong with the Henderson girl. Mama only met her once. She's ten years older than the boy, Gloria. Phone your mother from the airport.
we'll be driving through the night. You got a license? Yep. Get in. Okay. Hi. I'm Patsy. I'm Ralph. Ralph Quilly. This is Boyd. G'day. So how far are you going? Sydney. What do you play, Ralph? Guitar? Oh, really? It means what sort of music do you play? <laughs> country. One thing in this life I'm lukewarm about, Ralph, it's country music. Hope I can speak freely with you. I'm tired of being lonesome, having sex with my old doggy. Yep, yep. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Like things a little bit more unpredictable. You know what I'm saying? Honey, could you stop the car for a minute? We just stopped, my little potted rabbit. I'm sorry, I don't feel well. <clears throat> okay, sweet pea, come on, we haven't got all day. Stretch out in the back. Just look at it, Boyd. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I've looked at it. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> you know, you can cut across to the highway just up here a bit. I like the back roads. What's the matter with you lately, babe? I'll be okay. Well, anyone could live out here. I'm fucked if I know. She was you lost when you left this world. Days I'm gonna buy that girl the most, the biggest, the most expensive, the most beautiful fucking thing that money can buy. Do you know what I mean? Would you like me to do some driving, mate? No, oh, this is good. Puss, was talking about you. Beauty, mate. <clears throat> Straight six, supercharged. Money, money, money. Ralph, the root of all evil. <laughs> you reckon? Any money in this country music business? Garth Brooks is the biggest selling singer in the world. Bullshit. No bullshit. Who is he? <sighs> Whacker. Oh, 
clothes, God damn it. Never get a moment of peace. I'm sorry we're late. What about the parking in this town? We parked in Florida and walked. Clothes, boy. I'm charging tomorrow. Hi. Just give us two minutes. Boyd. Huh? Now there's a face I know. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure it's just a loose connection or something. Maybe my fault. I'm a jinx. Zoo out here. So tell us all about yourself, Ralph. So much to tell me. Okay, I'll start. Uh, thrown out of home at 15, stealing cars at 16, selling cars at 18, selling offshore property at 21, Mediterranean villas, Pacific Islands. Went bankrupt. <laughs> Went bankrupt. Ran a bar in Greece, flew choppers for oil rigs in Vietnam. Trained slow racehorses in Ireland. Found gold in New Guinea and bounced back. Now I'm an importer, Ralph. And for an importer, time is money. You understand? I think I've just about got it, mate. Good. <laughs> uh, sorry, kid. <sighs> you do it, sweetie. I feel sick just thinking about it. You learn to face things, puss. I can't help it. You're sick tearing up this shirt. Two hundred and ninety dollars. Uh, it won't affect your playing. You would know, I suppose. Oh, I've played a bit of guitar. Jeez, mate, you've done everything. <clears throat> Accidents happen, pal. So, where are you off to, Sydney? A bit further than that. Overseas. Well, maybe. Come on, you're amongst friends. Whereabouts overseas? Leave him alone, boy. That's all right. Going to America. There's one gun for every man, woman and child in America. Did you know that, Ralph? I knew there was a lot of guns. A lot of guns. So where are you off to in America, Ralph? Just somewhere. We must be going somewhere in particular. <laughs> of course I am. Well, are you going to the north or are you going to the south? Wait. No, it's all right. Going south, down south. Whereabouts down south, Ralph? I'm going to Tennessee. Not Nashville, Tennessee. That's right. Nashville, Tennessee. Did you get that, puss? <laughs> Ralph, this is fantastic. Tell us all about it. I don't feel like it right now. You don't feel like it? We invite you into the comfort of our car. We extend you every courtesy. I've, I've torn up a $290 shirt. And you don't even want to tell us why you're going to crummy old Nashville, Tennessee? Little reciprocity too much to ask, Ralph? Sweetie, it's his secret if he wants it to be. <sighs> I can smell a coffee on the breeze. Thanks for the ride, mate. What? You've been a great help. Oh, come on, Ralph. Look, I'm a prick, but I'm only trying to help out, okay? Come on, come on, it's for your own good. What's the matter with you, huh? There's no social security in America, Ralph. If you run out of money, you live in a cardboard box and eat shit on toast. No free medical, you break your spine off, your pancreas falls out, bang, it's $3,000 a minute. Who's going to pay for that? Look, I've got to go, mate, OK? Do you know where you're going to? Let me tell you something. Do you know why all those big Nashville stars sound like they're singing out of their noses? Huh? Cocaine abuse. Bush. Every last one of them. It's not like here, kid. It's a town chock-a-block full of criminality. There's not one wholesome story that ever came out of Nashville, Tennessee. One thing about me is I probably won't say that Nashville is the Bible centre of America with a publishing house so big it has its own zip code. Or that Tammy Wynette was going to do volunteer work for children if she hadn't gone into singing. She was a beautician and a Miss America contestant, but she always wanted to be a nurse. I'll think it, but I bet I don't say it. Trust me, ordinary people don't get discovered in Nashville. I've been there, Ralph. I've seen it. Order what you like. It's on me. I'm not hungry. Eat. I'm paying. Eat. Boy, he's not hungry. Eat. Lovely. Three coffees. I don't drink coffee. We're out of coffee. We're out of coffee. There's been a run on it? There's been a run on it. It's very good. There's been a run on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Would you take a photo for us, please? <sighs> sure. Uh, fellas. Hello. 
Warren, hi. <clears throat> oh no, things are great. Uh, evening, where are we? Come, let's you and I have a date out date. Sure. Well, yes. Anyway, Glenn Campbell was a garbage truck driver. I'm sorry? Johnny Cash sold fridges. Roger Miller wrote bulls. Chris Christopherson swept floors. Randy Travis was a kitchen hand. A year later, he had a plat in Melbourne. Of course I did, sweetie. Don't let Boyd upset you. You have to play me one of your songs. Ah, uh, my songs aren't much good. Oh, they will be. When life has left enough little scars, you'll take a moment from here and a word from there. It's where songs come from. You have to play me something anyway. Didn't think you liked country music. It's Boyd who doesn't like country music. I was named Patsy after Patsy Cline, you know, by my mother. Yeah? Mm hmm So where's your mum now? Dead. Your dad? <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Oh, my God, when Patsy Cline was killed in that plane crash, did you see that movie, Call Minus Daughter? No, we didn't have a TV. Oh, you'd see it. You'd love it. I know heaps of Patsy Cline songs. Mm -hmm. Do you know, um, do you know Crazy? Of course I know Crazy. Hey, listen, we'll bunk down here for the night. I've got a plane to catch. You're an old worrywart, Ralph. We'll get you there. But I can't afford it. See, there he goes again. Boy, it'll pay. Puss. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wouldn't wash the car, would you, kid? Mm. Oh, yes! Oh, 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 Why do you stay with that bloke? Oh, God. I can't do that. Sorry. Gosh. That's a big question for a little boy. Don't forget he's paying for your motel room. So? Look, when Boyd is worried, he gets antisocial. What's he worried about? Just business. Out here. You reckon? Found some coffee if you want some. You got a real good voice. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, you could be a singer. Mm, on TV. Yeah, for sure, why not? <laughs> With my cappy tea. 
You were right. Can I sit for a moment, please? Maybe you ought to see a doctor or something. Oh, my doctors. I'll be right in a minute. Looks after me, Ralph. I wouldn't say that he was the sort of person that arrives home every night for dinner at six o'clock. But he's such an optimistic person. Even when things are going shocking. Especially when things are going shocking. He never gives in. That's good for me. I don't know. Sometimes I just wish that I could throw everything in a suitcase like you and just go. Crazy. I'm crazy for feeling so lonely. I'm crazy. Crazy for feeling. Cute body on her. Yeah. Her head's very small. Is that good? All the stars got big heads, out of proportion, really. It works for TV. Bull. It's a fake. Willie, Waylon, Dolly. Johnny. All got heads on them like melons. Everyone. Katie Lang, she's a pinhead. <laughs> Let's just wait and see if she lasts. <laughs> Take your glasses off, gal. Let's see what you look like. Isn't she precious? Not for us. Not for you. Not for you. Come on, come on, come on. Look, we've traveled 5,000 miles and you've listened for two minutes. There's a hundred gals within the city block. Sing as good as she can. That's right. Present themselves better, too. Sing better than that before. Oh, God. Look, I'm sorry about the way things turned out. Yeah, forget about it. It's not your fault. Anyway, you're not going to believe it, but I've written a song. Yeah. I reckon it'd suit your voice. Must be a pretty ordinary song, because I've got a pretty ordinary voice. Well, we could sing it together. They wouldn't listen. So, what have we got to lose? Rise and shine. Oh, Ed. You drive. It's not what you think. Hey. Okay, Ralph, let's go. Boy, how do you Come on, drive the car. Going? Just go, 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 Ralph. Oh, that sweetie, look, it was all my fault. We're only talking, aren't you? Come on, Ralph, Please. move it. Shit. Give me your wallet. Why? Just Calm give me down. your wallet. Calm down, honey. Calm down. It's in my jacket. Calm down, honey. Please, calm down. I think it's in there. Don't worry about your ticket, kid. Boys! Better stop, mate. Boy, what are we doing? We're gonna stop the car. Just drive. We're gonna stop. Stop it, Dad. Just bang it, Ralph. We're gonna stop the car, mate. Just flatten it. Stop the car. Okay, go. Go, run. Come on, do you want to get shot? Look at this truck. 
It's funny what comes into your mind sometimes. Like the word tate -ar tate and the way she said it. Let's you and me have a tate -ar tate I guess it's your mind's way of changing the subject. Head towards the car, sir. Put your hands on the, on the bonnet. Give me your location. Can you tell us what's going on here, fellas? Look, I had nothing to do with this. That jag we had a tip off on. We've got it. Can you send us out some backup? I want you to understand you don't have to say yeah, anything. Yes, you wish. Anything you do say may be used in evidence. You understand that? Good boy. That's the stuff. So, Bradley, uh, tell us a little bit more about this honeymoon. Boys, would you mind if I sat up the front? I've got a bit of a problem with confined spaces. Would you get any photos? Yeah, ten rolls. I'll pick them up tomorrow. Look, I've got to be in Sydney by six <coughs> o'clock tonight. Uh, certain magazines will pay good money for those, Bradley. I sent a few of our photos in. After the divorce. <laughs> I hear songs on the radio But I breathe fast All the map is slow But every song they play Has got me thinking about you I see a fellow Walking down the street He looks at me And he smiles with his feet But he don't matter to me Cause I'm a thinking about you Every little dream I dream about you Every little thought I think you're just the place of when you go away. I'm gonna keep you locked up at home. What is this? Our little freak show. bank manager's going to tell me when I can buy a television set and when I can't buy a television. Jack. It'll come in handy for you. How are we going to pay for it? Look, Gloria, it's just a flaming box of wires. It's not an arm or a leg. Go and have a lie down. Yeah, I've got jobs to do. This won't hurt a bit. Can I say something? No. So let's try again. I intend to speak to you about the possession of amphetamines in a stolen motor vehicle. I've told you everything I know. Ralph Smith? It's a very interesting name, Smith. No ID, no fixed abode. We can't give you bail without ID, Ralph. I've got nothing to do with this. You've got one phone call. Do you want to make it? No. How old are you, Ralph? 17? 21. Come off that. So you were hitchhiking all alone when a good-hearted fellow out there pulls over to give you a lift? Yeah, that's right. But you were driving, Ralph. Yeah, he told me to drive. When you ran away, he didn't run away. I thought I was going to get shot. You musicians and your drugs, eh? No, I don't know nothing about drugs. Mum and Dad are going to be happy about this, Ralph. Oh, you can't tell them. Sure we can. No, I mean... They're dead. Yeah, they... They died in a plane crash. The motel manager thought there was a girl in the party. What about it? So I'm left standing there by the roadside in the desert, middle of nowhere, in the clothes I'm wearing. I've got no papers, no wallet, no luggage, no nothing. 
I haven't even hitchhiked before. I don't know how to do it. I'm there for five minutes. This kid rolls up in a brand new Jag. You know? <laughs> I thought it was going to be my lucky day. <laughs> and then before I know it, you fellas are chasing us. That was, that was really freaky. That's all we got. And the car was rented with a stolen driver's license. Not likely to put us on the front page of the newspapers, is it? Yeah, yeah. Just you and me, baby. You and me. You gorgeous thing. You've been refused bail, gentlemen. You'll go before the magistrate on Wednesday. Out. Excuse me. Out. Look, you've made a mistake. Just once, I'd like to have a prisoner walk in here, look me in the eye and say I'm guilty. Have a look around. What I've got here is a jail full of innocent men. What do I ever do? I can't. Come on, get a move on. But I am innocent. I can't be in here. I've got a condition. It's medical. The young bloke's not guilty of anything. You want a bet? I'll have 20. I get 100. You're on. Dead right. Oh. So, did you tell him? Tell him what? About me. They're hardly going to believe me, are they, Ralph? Say anything about Patsy. No, it, what, you give my wallet? They're lying by the side of a road somewhere. Yeah, okay, just relax, Ralph. You're making me tense. Relax, there were drugs in that car, yeah, mate. Yeah, I saw them, kid. Well, I didn't put them there. You think I did? What, well, didn't you? Jumping to conclusions there, Ralph. Well, you held Don't a push gun me. to my head. Don't... You told me to drop. Why? Get out my dick! Get out of here! Give me what? Come on, you dick! It's going like crazy. Mm. Okay, okay, just uh, push down like, like you're taking a dump. What for? It'll stop your heart from racing. Just do it. Well, what if I just take a dump? Just do it. Come on. Play than it looks, this thing. <laughs> oh, this dumping routine really works, Ralph. We should learn something like that. Johnny B. Howard swears by it. It's what he does before he goes on stage, you know, help with the nerves. Oh, yeah? <sighs> Look, I just want to thank you for not dragging Patsy into this, OK? All right, so now you're telling me you did it for her. She's a drug addict, Ralph. No. I was driving her to hospital so she could dry out, OK? When I found those drugs, I was physically sick. She's, she'd been busted so many times. If they find her again, they're just going to throw away the key. So, you know, I just want you to know that I'm grateful. And uh, I'll buy you another plane ticket. I don't want another plane ticket. I want my own ticket. Mum and Dad paid half a wall check for that. This pipe would hold a man's weight easy. The trouble is, I'm not so crazy about heights. I thought you flew helicopters to oil rigs in Vietnam. Nobody likes a smart ass, Ralph. Now let us keep our instruments. Oregon's because they want us to shut up. Right. Excise yard's pretty sunny. Right. It's quite good in here, really. Don't you reckon? Oh, yeah.
Don't bother talking to me if you don't want to, mate. That's fine by me! Please yourself. You listen to me, Sonny Jim. We book club acts. Club acts, exactly. Do you have no, any idea what it costs I'm to not promote talking about one club, club artist? I'm talking about greatness Do you have any idea what here. the failure rate is? What is do you know what? I've you detected have any a fundamental idea what the problem here, like. You know what that is? Do Everybody you know is so busy thing. covering their I'm not going to take a chance on that. all you've got is a town I'll run along home, oh, boy. Get out of my face. That's what I did, and i got a business to run. It's the covered ass capital of the world. No use to cry Everything that lives must die Dead red roses All I said was, catch a song. Exactly. You know the market. Oh, come on, son. If I knew the market, I wouldn't be walking around with the ass out of the seat of my pants. All right, we'll do a promo and a couple of video clips and get him some today clothes. Try for some upstate gigs. The boy doesn't really need to come. He sure does. There's only one guy around here who really doesn't need to come. Okay, Ralph, let's go. I'm not going anywhere with you, mate. Oh, come on, Ralph. I'll look after you. Clothes, cars, whatever you want. Girls. <laughs> different girl for every night of the week. I don't want a different girl for every night of the week, mate. Come on, Ralph, this is your big chance. Don't blow it on account of little old me. Come on, boys. Who's Tommy Joe? Nobody important. All right, everybody, close your eyes. Okay, open them. There it is, the grand old Opry. Elvis Presley tried out for the Opry in 55. He called himself the Hillbilly Cat. Failed the audition. Be about right. Goddamn hard place to get a gig. You ever get an act in there? Almost. Almost. That was a long time ago. That mortar's old. Soft. Your head wouldn't fit, mate. If I'm not out of here soon, I'm going through those bars like a bum nut through an egg slice. Thomas, the tank engine. Why don't we just shunt that old caboose right back into the station, huh? What happens if you sing a country and western song backwards? I don't know, mate. What? You get your job back, old Shep comes back to life, and your wife stops screwing your best friend. Pretty funny, mate. <laughs> now we know what to do with that. And, uh, letter. Pepper. Got my glasses? Everything he adds in there. No, 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 my glasses aren't here. I need him for reading. Oh. You want me to read it for you? No, thank you, senior constable. Um, they're very expensive glasses, and I'd like them back. Sure. And a sewing kit, if you can find one. Yes, dear. I've got pieces here. This for us, will ya? No, oh, read it yourself. It's great sharing a cage with your kid. Now, if I can just get a little needle stick injury, really top off my day. Hey, we ask you to join in. And don't. We'll call you, mate. What about 
blind. I haven't had a decent blind singer for ages. Too much bullshit. Fucking guide, dogs, white sticks. Too much can go wrong. Besides, no life for the kids. They could be brothers and sisters. Ralphie, can you help me do this up? We're not brother and sister. Only families sing true harmony. Well, what are the options? Well, there's husbands and wives, complete strangers, there's lovebirds. There's... Kissing cousins, that's always good. What about twins? Okay, we could try twins, but if they're family, the boy can't touch the girlie. Lay one finger on her and it's all over. It's all she wrote. The press are everywhere. You get caught. Grab that. Lunch is 12.30 on the dock. Cops don't wear their guns into the cell area. Keep it in mind. Rightio, fellas. You get first choice. OK, we've got uh, beef with um, uh, anchovies or um, beef with cheese and pineapple. Or, or just ground beef. Oh, either one. Rightio. Got a vegetarian beef. A what? Yeah, yep. Yeah, no, um... um are these your glasses? Oh, thank you, Mary. Right, eh? Um, any, any lettuce to past? No, he's got one. Hey, give it back! Don't take it easy. Give us a... <laughs> ah! Let's have a visit, boys. Dear Mum and Dad. Shut up, will ya? Sorry for not writing sooner, but things are going fine. Dad, I've met an interesting girl. But you wouldn't like a hit. Meanwhile... <laughs> hey, you can be the <laughs> Come on, get off him! Give him the letter. Let go of him! Yeah. All right, if you're going to be like that, you can split the pizza between yourselves. Where's me drive Pepsi? Thought you had no parents. Yeah, no, I don't. Right. OK. What's this about Patsy's hips? Look, it's just a joke between me and my dad. I wasn't going to post it or nothing. There's nothing wrong with her hips, pal. I'll tell you that much for free. <laughs> Phone's working. I've already tried it. <laughs> Johnson boy did this. should bring the hospitals. I've already rung them. Don't have a lie down. <sighs> I've got jobs to do. <coughs> I look through the windows at the rooms I once knew And I sat in the old rocking chair of an angel came smiling to me. My mother's silver hair. My mother's silver hair. <coughs> I was there all alone. Oh, I really can't take this. I've had it up to pussies, Bo. Stuck in a cage with Bambi, I got you three cowboys singing songs about your mother's hair and dogs and dust in my crack. Hey, what's your problem, mate? Any one of you clowns ever heard of the minor key? Huh? Syncopation? Art Pepper? Miles Davis? Duke Ellington, for God's sake. Improvise a bit. Create something new. Go completely silly and use a diminished chord. Try to surprise me, fellas. I'll surprise you. You and your pretty little mate. Went for a cruise on the QE2 once, down the Caribbean. Couldn't stand those little cabins. I went crapping mad. I'm paying $1,000 a day and I'm sleeping on the deck. <laughs> no refund, nothing. Had this chicky with me, she wouldn't come at it. Sleeping on the deck. All that cash and I never even saw any action. It was a black period in my life, Ralph. Ralph? Ralph? We had to finish it somehow, so maybe this was just fake. I'm disappointed, Ralph. 
private correspondence. So she's left you, eh? <clears throat> she's just a chick. Yeah, there's a lot of them. You ever had a girl in love with you, Ralph? What's that got to do with anything? Well, if you had, you would understand that when a girl says she's going to leave you, it doesn't necessarily mean that she's going to leave you. Yeah, well, anyway, she's safe now, so you can tell them I had nothing to do with this, all right? Visitor for you, too. Well, both of us. Good looker, too. God, you're here. <laughs> G'day, boys. How you doing, Ralph? Hey, you boys are lucky having a roof over your head. You should try getting accommodation in this town. <laughs> Listen, we don't have to talk in front of the kid. He's come this far with you, boy, and I just wanted to get a good look at him. Mate, I've got nothing to do with him, eh? I suppose you're wondering about the deal. Mate, we agreed you'd do the Darwin to Adelaide run. Yeah, I had some bad news. Right, so you rented a Jag with a stolen credit card. Well, you know, it's a long trip, Warren. To be comfy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sydney's not on the way to Adelaide, Boyd. No, but this is what I was getting to. <clears throat> My sister's boy blew a kidney last Thursday playing water polo, and he's paralysed from like year down. I had to go and look after him. He's like a nephew to me. I... Anyway, somebody tipped off the cops. Fancy that. is easy to get, mate. Loyalty is the hard thing. <clears throat> so why come all the way out here? Just to say how very disappointed I am. I'm disappointed. Avis Renekar's disappointed. Everyone's disappointed with both of you. Anyway, you're no bloody businessman. Everybody stretches the truth from time to time, Ralph. It's a malleable construct. This is part of growing up. Bullshit it is. Anyway, you're safer in here now. Things cool down a little bit. Hey, fellas. Oh, a bit of a smell in there. Yeah, something's a bit off. Oh, well, it is a latrine. It's good here, boys. Yeah, it smells like a dog or something. Yeah. Good here. Where's your little mate? Huh? Duke of Ellington? I can't help you. You wouldn't tell me if you knew, would you? They're not actually, no. <laughs> it's not very friendly, mate. Okay, just, uh, just excuse me for a second here, fellas. It's a $2,000 jacket. Be careful about my... Oh, yeah! Come on! Yeah! Ringing in my ears, bothering you boys, because I can always put a pillow over my head. What happened? <sighs> That's some water pressure you got in those showers, Sergeant. What happened, Ralph? Oh, I don't know. I was in the cubicle. I didn't see anything. That's just about what I'd expect from you. <sighs> You're a virgin, mate. Now shut up, will ya? You're not, are you, pal? Or aren't we including our barnyard friends? <laughs> what does a girl do when a man is up and gone? What does a girl do when she's been alone too long? She gets
Young fella. Thanks. You need someone to talk to? No, I'll be right. What a lot of bullshit. Go on, get on with it. I mean, it's, it's a recording, it's TV, it's feature films, very big canvas. I mean, I guess I'm a producer. Actually, you've got a very, very interesting look. You've got a very visual appearance. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you all to the Silver Stone Room. It's definitely out in the dark, thank you. Just come on, sweet snail. Wait, I got something for you, Patsy. Just do it like we did it in the hotel room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, this will stop your lips from sticking to your table. What are you here for? Yeah. No, no, I'm cool. I'm cool. All the way from Australia, the one and the only, the Madison Twins. Tommy Joe? No, honey. It's all right. Get some sleep, mate. Who is Tommy Joe? He's our son. He's an executive for a recording company. What kind of big time executive son doesn't lay eyes on his own mother for 10 years? Come on, you be quiet now. You be quiet. <sighs> Back on the street. Excuse me, um, pardon me, would you mind? Um, can I have a moment? Um, what we'd like to do is shoot a short piece in the cell. To some prisoners singing country music. Johnny Cash, falls in prison, all that stuff. We're too busy for that, I'm afraid. You're only for their singing. It's criminal. You got anybody in the cells who can hold a tune? You'd have to have permission from the police media and marketing, perhaps. Around you go, still looking in her eyes. Believing you're deceiving her with your lies. Well, I've got news for you. How's that? No? I'll turn it the other way. What about that? Jack?
Hi. Good day. You not at any exercise yet? No, sir. Hey, it's my lunch break. Right. Been watching you. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Got something I want to show you. Oh, yeah? Well, what is it? Because, you know, I was thinking of going out to the exercise yard. Come on, sit down. Won't take long. It's me and the wife, in front of Disneyland. The first day of our honeymoon. That's the bus we went on. Right. Got another one. Oh, Arizona, the top off. Geez, it was hot there. It was just flat as anything, but then you get these, you know, hill type things sticking out. This is Washington. That's all right. Yeah, There's like a thing in there. But it's just an instamatic. I mean, you just hold it up and shoot it. You wouldn't believe it, would you? Nah. I mean, that's sort of quality reproduction. Normally, you'd need a um, SLR. Oh, yeah, yeah. You've got some of the wedding if you'd like to have a look sometime. Yeah, sure. Anyway, I... You recognise this? That's my wallet. Yeah. I went for a drive back to where we picked you up. I found it, sitting on the side of the road. It's got name, address, passport, airline ticket, itinerary. You're only 18. You never rented a Jag from Darwin, did you? No. You were hitchhiking, like you said. I knew it. Well, tell the magistrate tomorrow. Show him your ID. Ah, no, you won't have any need to tell your parents. And my parents didn't want me to join the police force. Said, said I was too sensitive. Oh, you rang the airline about the ticket? They said they could have you on the Friday flight. Listen, mate. Thanks a lot. No worries. Bud and I split up today. He's going back to Australia. Why'd you do that? Look, I've got my reasons. Okay? Come on, you two. I don't think I can do this. You can do it. Hey, Patsy, you can do it. Is that your woman, mate? Would you like to say something? I slept with this woman. American. Good woman. Good woman. Well, I've got news for you. I've got a love Jeez. that's strong and true. Just tear it up, will you, Ralph? So I, I don't want to know right about it. She's got some new direction in her life. Great. Look at you now. I got a few problems of my own at this stage. Now, I may not be the perfect person I can do without people telling me. Ralph, did you hear what I said? You won't believe what happened. I collapsed in the street and woke up with doctors prodding me and poking me, asking me when my period stopped. I felt like such an idiot. And when the band started up, you took her out on the floor. Boys, will you just please. Well, that sweet thing I was happier when you were kicking the crap Before out of me. Step way out of line. You ain't gonna be lining up with her no more. Hey, fellas, do you want to just keep it down a bit? Look at you now with your smug little grin. You Look, if you've got to play, at least do it properly. Look, I'll show you. you get a like this. Stepping on love. Out you go, still looking in her eyes Believing you're deceiving her with your life Well, I've got news for you We got a love that's strong and free Why don't you step outside? 
so I can cut you right down to size. That's it. Look at me now, there better be no doubt that I'm stepping right in and you're stepping right out. Well, holy moly, and the heavens above, you better get yourself a weapon, cause you're stepping on love. Shut up. told me her periods had stopped. She told some doctor she's never met before. She never told me. Yeah, well, she's told you now. on Saturday night. <laughs> what the hell? I'll charter an aeroplane. We'll all fly down. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Not today, okay, fellas. I'm washing my delicates. I got this one! I got it! It's a joke! We've been looking for you. Yeah? The boys and I have had a little talk. Right. What's your name? Ralph. We're having a little jam session later on. Oh, come along. Join in, give us a few tips. What? What you in for, Ralph? Stealing a car <laughs> and drugs. Alfie, grab his bodily arm. Kenny, grab his bodily. Dwayne's the name. Grab his bodily. <laughs> Boy, Pisces. Well, you know, pleased to meet you, fellas. I uh, tell you what, I'll, I'll think about it. You know, keep it in mind. Yeah, I'd like to do that. You know, you get so revved up when you reckon you're gonna get belted, and then when you don't, you know, it's, it's almost worth getting into a fight, you know, just to, just to get the energy out, you know what I mean? What? What? Boy, boy, look. Mate, at the motel, I didn't touch her, I swear. What's so funny? <laughs> Room service. Yum. Yum. Champagne for the star? No. 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 No.
Back some other time. No, 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 it's fine. I just wanted to tell you how proud I was tonight. Really? Oh, so proud. Come off it. No, I know that that um, that we're all through and that's fine. But I just needed to tell you anyway. Thank you. You sang like an archangel. No, I didn't. You sang like Nefertiti. <laughs> Who's she? Well, she was one of the great Egyptian singers. Did I really? You tore my heart out tonight, sweet pea. And I want to know what your intentions are with it. If I can't win you back, I'm going to just throw myself in a volcano. Gosh. I thought Ralph sang really well too, didn't you? Um, I think we're going to have to... Cut Ralph loose, Patsy. No. He's holding you back. No, that's not fair. You have to be fair to yourself. No, I can't do it without Ralph. What about Connie and Tyrone? We don't need any of them. I've had Sony and EMI on the phone all day today. They want you. They don't want Ralph. You think I'm stupid, eh? I know what you're doing. You want me to take the blame, but I can prove who I am, that I was never in Darwin. I got my wallet back. You didn't know that, did you? We're talking about fairly unimportant stuff here, Ralph. Hmm? I'm looking down the barrel of paternity. You know, I've got a very, very big agenda now. Oh, and I don't. Oh, OK, of course I wanted you to take the rap. What do you think? I'm some kind of a, a person who doesn't want another person to take the rap. I knew it, mate. I knew it. I had you pegged. Never going to work anyway, you know. And Patsy's not a drug addict, is she? No. She doesn't have a strong grip on reality like I do. I'll take the rap, Ralph. Of course I'll take the rap. You, tomorrow afternoon, you're on your way to Nashville. Yeah, well, well, good. Mm -hmm. What are you doing running drugs anyway? Can't you just ask me where I got my hair cut? Something? <sighs> For what it's worth, it was my first time, OK? And I don't know, I've kind of done everything else. Still ended up with nothing. I seem to have a way of hemorrhaging money. Maybe you got more than you think. She's just a chick, Ralph. They come and they go. Yeah, well, I still don't know when you're lying to me. Yeah? Yeah, pretty good, aren't I? Good day. It's uh, Lance Johnson. Yeah, well, I never felt better, Lance. Ra Ralph? Oh, he, he's been gone about a week. What? Say that again? You're lying to me. What? What? The, the Johnson boy's come home. He's getting married to the Henderson girl. I knew it. Uh, I, I think I will lie down. Can I ask you a question? It's what I'm here for, kid. What's a tater tate? -tate? It's conversation. Hmm. <clears throat> Is that all you want to know? Oh, yeah, more or less. Yeah, it's conversation. <clears throat> it's French. Literally means face to face. It's also the name for a small sofa shaped like the letter S. Can I ask you another question? Yeah. 
Could you shut up? I mean, just for a couple of minutes. You haven't seen me Disneyland, have you? My photo of Disneyland. Oh, the little woman. She's giving me heaps. I've got a visitor for you two blokes. Do you have any idea what it's like to be locked up in here like a circus animal and get letters like the ones you sent me? One minute you're leaving me, the next minute all your most intimate medical details splashed all over the page for the whole world to read. I'm sitting here waiting, puss. I can't think, I can't breathe. And then when a letter finally does come, what is it? Okay, so look, anyway, this is, this is the thing. I've been doing a lot of thinking and, and, and all right, it's not out of the question <coughs> about the baby. I mean, you're going to say it's weird for me, and I'm not saying yes outright, but, but it's something that we could talk about. Because anyway, that's, that's the way I feel. So I thought I should tell you. There's no baby. What do you mean? Anyway, I, I checked out of the hospital. That place gives me the creeps. It's okay, though, because even though they want you to have the treatment, they don't try to stop you from leaving. So it's fine, because I've accepted it. Really interesting how you feel. Yesterday I, I went to the movies all day by myself, one after the other. I've never done that before. And then I went out and I bought this dress that I can't really afford and I had a really happy day. What are you talking about, puss? I've got some sort of cancer thing. I tried to warn you about me. Oh, no, no, no. Don't start this bad luck crap again, Patsy. No, it's just fate, and you just have to accept it. No, no, no. You don't accept it. You don't accept it, OK? You don't accept it. You don't accept anything. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, what type of cancer? You know, modern medicine do anything these days. You don't just roll over, Patsy. We don't roll over, you and me, okay? We don't roll over. I can't face getting really sick, and, and I can't face treatment. <laughs> they said that I'd lose my hair. Oh, Jesus, wept puss, don't worry about your hair. <laughs> Come on. You, 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 you fight this thing, whatever it is. No. Yes? I just wanted to come and say no, no, goodbye. No, 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 so don't make it no, no, hard no, for on. me. Puss. You just try and stay out of trouble, OK? No, no, Patsy. Patsy. You look out for it. Listen, Patsy. 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 Let her go. Patsy. 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 Really good. I, uh, I used to play some places, Paris. Played with some of the good fellas once upon a time. Why'd you chuck it in? No money. In it. I'm sorry, boy. What do you think of me? I mean, as a player. I think you're good. No, no, what do you really think? 
Yeah, I think, you know, I think you're good. No, don't just say you're good. I want to know what you really think. I want the truth. You know, I can take it. Okay, honestly? Honestly. I think you're a pretty good guitar player. I think you got a reasonable sense of melody. You'd be a good club player. I think you're wasting your time going to Nashville. They'd chew you up, Ralph. <sighs> See, now, this is the problem with telling the truth. I've never told the bald-faced truth much without putting a bit of a spin on it. Sorry it had to be you, Ralph. Last night I dreamed. It's been a mix up. There's only one seat left on the airplane. What? Cattleman's Convention, Nashville. Great. A 200 mile drive along a frozen highway. You take it, gal. No, Connie, you should take it. No, you have it. I'll stay with Tyra. We'll stick together. Boy, you take it. Oh, how sad. Okay. If it's your way. Drive safe. Better be good. I did it, sir. I'm guilty. I put the drugs in the car. Boyd had nothing to do with it. Bullshit. What a lot of bullshit. No bullshit. Good boy. Oh, come on, Sarge. You don't believe that. Shut up. Sorry to get you out of bed, sir. It's all part of the job, son. Get some sleep. I'll put in a good word for you tomorrow. Come on, fellas, you can't believe that. Just look at him. He's gone. I don't want to hear a love song. I got on the airplane just to fly. I know there's life below me But all that you can show me Is the prairie and the sky And I don't want to hear a sad story Full of heartbreak and desire The last time I felt like this I was in the wilderness and the 
for me to go, Patsy. Go away. I'm going home. Oh, why? Things to do. Besides, I'm holding you back. Don't be silly. I couldn't do it without you. Yes, you can. Even if I could, it wouldn't be fair to you. Don't worry about me. Anyway, I can look after myself. Is there anything that I could say to make you stay? Can I just say how much I love Ralph. your work? Do you think we could talk for a minute? Oh, do you have to speak to my agents? John and John. Used to be a woman on the late night radio who would explain your dreams. She was pretty hopeless, but it was something to listen to. I suppose it's hard to get a top quality dream analyzer to work at two o'clock in the morning. All the good ones are probably asleep. Keep your nose clean. Three months will go like that. How do you do it? Ralph. Hey. Hey. Why'd you do it? I don't know, mate. Just because. Because. I've never had one of those because. I don't know what to say. Guess what, Ralph? We're going to America. Yeah, just till the heat dies down a little bit. America? But what about the drugs and guns and no free medical and that? Oh, don't be a sook. It's a land of opportunity, Ralph. I'm going to have some treatment there. Oh, that's good. Yeah, when she's all better, I'll tell you what. We're talking about opening up a little jazz bar in New York. And you can come and play country music whenever you want, can't you, sweetie? Yeah, it'd be mm. tremendous. Mm. Oh, look, if you're going to America, I'm looking for someone to post this for us. Do you reckon you could do it? Sure. Make it snappy, kid. See you soon. Good luck, Ralph. Don't drop the soap. What? Oh, good looking woman. Wish I could help you. Mate, you've helped me more than you'll ever know. You don't really think he'll post that, do you? Jack? Jack? He sent a photo from America. He'll be home in three months. He's putting together a band. They've got a three-month engagement. He says we can't write back to him. Must be some kind of tour. For your information, the four basic strains of Merino sheep are Pippin, South Australian, Saxon and Spanish. Would you ring the Cunnamulla Hotel and see if they still need a guitarist? It'd be nice to get a picture of him. Oh, he's not the show-off type. Be thankful. He says he's got some big plans. Three months, eh? Where do you think you're off to? I've got a few jobs to do. <laughs> Yeah. 
that's brave We must make The run successful From the grave Recreation Alan, why don't you boys bring your instruments? JJ's bring your instruments, boys. The thing is, Johnny Cash had a monster hit with a song called False and Prison Blues. So everyone reckons he's been in prison half his life? Truth is, Johnny Cash was only ever in prison for a few days in his entire career. One night in Starkville, Mississippi, and one night in Lafayette, Georgia, both times for public drunkenness. He kicked in the wall of his cell and broke his big toe. A lot of people don't know that. So no offence to him, but if you think about it, I've been in prison longer than Johnny Cash. up in the morning hear the ding dong ring you go marching to the table it's the same darn thing spoon and fork up on the table not a thing in my pan if you make a crack about it you're in trouble with a man let the midnight special If you ever go to Austin, man, you better walk right. Neither stagger nor a stumble, and don't you pick a fight. Cause the sheriff will arrest you, and he'll take you on down. If the jury says guilty, you penitentiary bound. Let the midnight special shine a light. Love and light. 